everyone. Welcome to our team call tonight. We're excited to have you here. Um, we have the Pure Results team here, and we also have Jonathan Lee's team. So welcome to the call. Um, this call is going to be all about how to get to Emerald and to add coaches to your team. We're also going to be talking about our Diamond Dash coming up on September 1st. I'm so excited about that, and we're going to give you lots of information about that. So if you don't have a pen and paper handy, go ahead and grab one so that you can take lots of notes, um, and you can have this call to, to give to your team as well. So it will be recorded. Okay, so um, first of all, I want you all to close your eyes. So don't write anything. So close your eyes, and I want you to imagine what you'd like your life to look like. So imagine where you're living, if you're living in a house, or if you're living in a condo, if you're living by the beach, um, where you're living. And then I want you to imagine where you'd be working, like if you'd be working at a desk or if you'd be working on a laptop by the beach. Um, so, but imagine where you'd be working. And then I want you to imagine what you'd be doing every day in your business. Um, so, you know, whether you'd be talking to people in, on the phone or, you know, teaching live classes, um, speaking in person to your team or doing calls, um, but kind of imagine what it's like. Um, imagine how you're going to look. So, you know, maybe you have the hardcore six pack abs or you fit into that smaller dress or you just have more energy, you feel amazing. Um, so, so visualize that, let it all soak in. And um, let's see, also imagine who's with you. Um, so imagine the people on your team, um, your family, the people that you care about. Um, but just imagine what your life would be like in the spot you want to be. So, you know, uh, the amount of money you're making, um, the flexibility you have with your life, um, et cetera. Okay, now open your eyes. And, um, okay, so uh, if you've never done that before, um, I would encourage you to do that um, often to visualize where you want to go. Because if you don't know where you want to go, then you won't get there. Um, so now we're just going to take the next um, one minute. I'm going to time on my clock for one minute, and I want you to write on that paper that you have handy everything that you just thought about in your mind. So, so I'm going to time for one minute, and you can just put all that information down on paper. Okay, ready, set, go. Okay, if you're just joining the call, we're just taking some notes of what we imagine our life like um, at the place we want to be. So you're imagining, you know, where you're working, what your family's life is like, your flexibility of time, what your living situation, your home, um, all of that. So we have about 30 more seconds. Okay, stop. All right, so you can finish that later, um, but that was just a really short time to think about that. Um, I listened to a call from Brigitte Linford today, and I'll share it with you if you haven't heard it before, but um, she talked about getting rid of the negativity in your life, and one thing that she talked about was visioning what her life would look like, and uh, focusing on that every morning. So she has an alarm and she sets her, her clock 10 minutes. She has an alarm to clock 10 minutes before she's supposed to wake up every day. 
And then um, she sets another call or another alarm after that. Um, okay, just make sure. All right. So, but for 10 minutes, right when she wakes up, she envisions how her life is going to look like. And if any of you guys know Brigitte Linford, um, she made, she started making six figures in her first year as a beach body coach. Um, she just became a 15 star diamond. Um, she's a, an elite beach body coach. She moved from um, Idaho to Arizona this year. Um, anyway, she's an incredible person. She was in a mental institution and um, like suicidal, depressed person um, to becoming this very successful, amazing leader. Um, so anyway, this is what she does every day is she visualizes where she's going to be. So just what we talked about just exactly how our life is going to look like. And I had a mentor that told me to do this as well, and I started doing it. Um, so for me, my dream is to have a house. If you guys don't know me, I've been traveling around a lot and um, excited to have a freestanding house. And so um, last year, actually, I went and started looking at houses, and I had a picture of what my house would look like. And so when I visualized what my life was going to look like, I knew what it was going to look like because I found my dream house and what it looked like. Um, so really, you know, to the detail, the more detailed you can plan it, the better, because then you can say if it happened or not. If it's really kind of wishy-washy, like, yeah, I'd like to have more time or, yeah, I'd like to help more people, that's not very specific. So like for me, you know, I'd say, oh, I want, you know, this type of a house, specific, how many bedrooms, what the kitchen looks like, if there's a pool in the backyard or not. Um, but she was very specific in where, you know, where she wanted to live and what it looked like. So I'd encourage you to make it specific. Okay, so I wanted to open with that. Then the next thing I want you to think about is, um, is how this business is really um, like walking in a train track tunnel. Um, okay, so just bear with me on the story. <laughs> um, in Utah, if you guys have ever been to Utah, there's these big train track tunnels. And you're probably not supposed to go in them, but I did in high school. And so when you're first going in them, it's really dark and you can't see at all. Like you can't even see your hand if you put it up to your face. It's really dark. And so you're walking, and um, I was actually dating a guy. I thought it was really cool to take me to these train tunnel tracks. Anyway, so he's holding, you know, hold my hand. Trust me, we'll make it through. It's a really good story. Okay. <laughs> so we're holding hands, and I'm kind of scared, you know, but I'm trusting him that we're going to make it. And we get to the middle of the train tunnel, and I see this little glimmer of light, a tiny bit, but not very much. So I'm, you know, holding hands, see the light, and then we make it to the end, and it opens up into this huge view. I can see the mountains. I can see it's all white and snowy. It was a winter, and it was amazing. It was beautiful. Um, but it was scary at the beginning because it was just dark, and I didn't know what to expect. And I was walking, and, you know, I kind of saw a glimmer, but I didn't, you know, really believe that I was going to see anything great until I actually saw it. And so that's exactly like this business. Like when you're first starting as a coach, you're like, yeah, right. Like <laughs> making like lots of money, like getting to the lifestyle that I want. Like, yeah, right. Um, so I know, you know, if you're just starting out or maybe you're just, you know, you're just making 50 or $200 a month or, you know, wherever you're at. The beginning, you have to really have faith that it's going to work out because it really will um, with these steps that we're teaching you. Um, I can tell you when I had that moment of actually seeing the view a little bit from Beachbody was for me. Um, I went on the Beachbody cruise this past March and I was there on the cruise. I've shared the story before, but for a week, and I we didn't have internet, so I couldn't do anything on my business. But I, I checked right when we got on the, the shore in Florida, when I got off um, the ship, I checked my commission, and I earned $1,100 that week. And that was my biggest check ever that I'd had with Beachbody. And I thought, oh my gosh, like I was on a cruise, I was on a trip. And I earned the biggest check I've ever had. So that for me was like a huge, um, like, this is real. Like, let's do this, you know? And so since March, I've been really going. I mean, I've been going for a while. But, um, but that just gave me, you know, that extra faith. So 
I would like to encourage you um, that whenever you have a little bit of success, like whether someone joined your challenge or someone's going to try Shakeology or someone's coming to your fit club or someone's coming to your shaking chair, whatever success you have, write it down. And that's going to be your little glimmer of faith to see that full view ahead. And there's going to be a lot of little glimmers before you get to that big view. But you have to hold on to those glimmers. Brigitte Linford talks about whenever she gets a success, you know, like if someone writes her a message and says, you know, thank you for helping me, um, you know, stop drinking soda or be healthier, whatever. She does a snapshot of that. Um, comment and she has a folder with all of these comments of people that have she's helped and whenever she's having a hard time she looks at that folder and she says okay this is why I'm doing this and so all those little glimmers like whenever you have a rough day or whenever you're like is this worth it like am I really gonna be successful you look at those little glimmers and you're like oh my gosh this is worth it when you look back um, so I wanted to start out with that um, so the next thing I want to go into is talking more about being an emerald. So the key to this business um, is probably not what you would think. Um, the key to this business is not being the best at sales. It's not being the best um, at hitting success club. Um, it's not even you know getting to diamond the fastest. Um, the key to this business is duplication. And so I want you to write that down. Like the key to this business is duplication. So your income is going to grow faster if you have more people helping you. So you're going to work with, um, with less effort and you're going to make help more people. So for example, like if you have a personal trainer and the personal trainer can only help the people that they're helping right there in person. Um, they can only go so far because their time is limited. They can't, um, I talked to one personal trainer, he's like, I can't grow my business anymore because I don't have any more hours in the day to physically one-on-one -on -one help these people. Um, so you're like the personal trainer. Like if you are just helping people one-on-one, -on -one, just you and you're just a coach, you can only help so many people personally, but that's when you add coaches to your team, your efforts multiply. And so if you add one coach to your team who's putting the same effort that you are, who's doing the same things you are doing, then your efforts are doubled. And what if you add another coach? Maybe you get to Emerald and then your efforts are tripled. And imagine if you grow your team and you have 100 coaches putting in the same effort as you, then your efforts are going to multiply significantly. And this isn't just about signing up coaches, this is about really genuinely helping more people. And so I want you to, to think about that and I want you to think big on this. Okay, so I'm not a top coach or anything, but I start, when I started my business, it was just me. And my first coach that I signed up was my spouse, my husband, um, and you know, I had no idea where this is going to go. So I looked at, at my back office today, and um, so now we have 263 coaches on our team in just over two and a half years. Um, I have 22 Emerald coaches, we have three Diamond coaches, and we have two two-star Diamond coaches. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Like, you know, you never think when it's just you what it could be. So I want you to imagine if you – you know, you just starting out, maybe you're a coach, you're an Emerald coach right now, um, but imagine how many lives you can change and make improve with the efforts of duplicating your efforts. So I want you to imagine that. Okay, so now we're going to go into um, what is an Emerald coach. So if you're a brand new coach, an Emerald coach is having two coaches on your team. So you have two coaches that you personally brought on your team, one on your right and one on your left. Um, then I want you to also write this down. Emerald is a stepping stone to get to diamond. So a lot of people will stop at Emerald and they'll say, oh, I made it to Emerald. Yes, I made it to Emerald. Well, Emerald is just a stepping stone 
to get to diamond. So that's not the stopping point, that's just a stepping stone. Okay, so when you become an Emerald Coach, then you unlock what's called Team Cycle Bonuses. So I posted a video in our team group, and I'll share it in Jonathan's too, about how these work. Um, but just a simple way of explaining it is basically whenever um, you add coaches um, on your team, um, on your right and on your left, um, you get a team bonus. So as an Emerald Coach, they're gonna start out pretty small. You're gonna start out at $14 per bonus. So that means you have 200 volume on one side and 100 volume on the other side. When that happens, you get a bonus, you get $14. So it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you start adding more coaches and duplicating your efforts, those bonuses add up. I mean, when I look at my paychecks now, you know, like that $1,100 paycheck, I'd say like, you know, seven or $800 of that was probably team bonus. So you're going to be, your team bonuses are gonna be bigger than your commission checks. And when that happens, that's so awesome because then you know you're helping even more people. Okay, so the next thing, so the team bonuses, like I say, they are kind of confusing, but basically any coach that, that is added to your team, whether your coach added them or your diamond coach or whoever it was, um, count toward your bonuses. So it's not just your personal efforts, that's cool too. Um, it's anyone. So if you, you, you can go into your online office, I'd recommend doing this, and go to um, Coach, Coach Online Office, My Downline, Graphical Genealogy, and just look and see how many coaches you have under there. Um, a lot of you, if you've been on our team for a while, you might have a lot on one side. And so if you want to grow your income pretty fast, just add more coaches to the other side to balance it out. Um, okay, so, so you get team bonuses as a, an Emerald Coach. You get free customers from Beachbody. So people go to Beachbody.com, order something, and they automatically get assigned a coach, and that's you. And it's your job to help them and support them. As an Emerald Coach, you get their commissions on future purchases. So not on current, but future. And then if you hit Success Club, then you get those commissions. So that's pretty awesome. If you're just an Emerald and you're hitting Success Club, you're gonna be making an average, I would say um, 150 to 400 a month, maybe. Um, it could go up from there, but that's probably an average, one to 400 if you're an Emerald coach hitting Success Club and you have maybe one coach hitting Success Club. Okay, so then the next thing for being an Emerald coach is that makes you a leader. And that's awesome because when you're a leader, you're going to be going even faster in your business because when you're a leader, you're going to be teaching other coaches. I know whenever I'm teaching other coaches, I'm learning way faster because whenever you're teaching, then it makes you learn it better. Okay. Um, so let's see. Also, um, another important thing is once you sign up coaches and they're going to you know, you're, they're going to follow you. Um, as their leader, you want to be the best leader you can be. Your coaches are going to do what you do. So if you're a coach and you don't ever work out and you don't drink Shakeology and you're like posting on Facebook that you're going to the bar and drinking and partying, your coaches are probably not going to be the best coaches, okay? So you need to be a good leader. When you add coaches to your team, you want to work out, you want to drink shit college every day, you want to eat healthy, you want to post positive things, you want to um, you know, have people follow you, and you want to make sure you're helping at least three people every month, physically or financially. That means you're hitting success club. Um, so that's what you want to do as a leader. And so the speed of the leader is going to be the speed of the pack. So if you want a team that's like gangbusters, then you as a leader better be gangbusters. Okay? So like I know for me, like I, uh, you know, I was kind of on and off with Success Club. And then January this last year, I was like, oh, I'm going to set my goals higher. Success Club 10 is my minimum. And so... I am proud to say I've hit Success Club 10 or higher in the last seven months, and I just hit Success Club 6 this month, so I'm on track for eight months. 
Anyway, so that was my huge goal. And we've had more coaches on our team hit success club this year than ever. So that's awesome. So if you're the leader, make sure you're setting your bar up high if you want your coaches to do the same thing. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to go into is what to do. Okay, so how do we find these coaches? We want coaches. How do we find them? All right. So number one thing you want to do is write down your story. So you need to have a story of why you're a coach, how coaching has helped you. Um, okay, so I want a little interaction here. Um, in the chat box on your computer screen, just say yes in the chat box if you have written your story or you have a story um, written down. Okay, Cindy, awesome. Okay, so let's hear it. Like, your story about being a coach, how coaching has helped you. Okay, Angie, great. Um, Sharon, awesome, Ben, okay. Great, awesome, so we have some stories. Great, awesome, so that is the first step. So once you have your story, then you gotta share it. Okay, great, Vonda, okay, awesome. Thanks for, for posting. So once you have your story about coaching, you wanna start sharing it. Okay, and so this is like, you don't want to, it doesn't have to be this like huge, big presentation every time you share it. It could be like little hints all the time. Okay, I love doing this. <laughs> Just want to share this, what I do with people. Um, so, you know, you could be talking to a friend and they could be like, oh yeah, you know, I'm really struggling. Like, I wish I could go to the movies, but I don't have extra money. And I'd be like, Oh, that's so frustrating. I know, you know, I used to be like that before I started coaching. And they'd be like, hmm, what's coaching? Like, just putting, like, little hints in there. Like, I'll just be like, you know, shrug it off. Like, I don't really care if they ask me anything. But I'm just like, hmm. You know, or they're like, oh, man. Like, I have to go to work and put my kids in daycare. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, I used to have to do that. That's so hard. Um, before I started coaching, um, but you know, now I, I can stay at home with my kids. I love it. And they're like, well, what do you do as a coach? You know, like depending on their interest. And then, you know, if they just start asking me questions, you know, I'm not here to tell you about coaching. Like we're here just to hang out. You know, I'm not here to tell you about coaching. And I'll be like, no, no, I want I want to hear about it. And I'll be like, ah, uh, you know, we can talk about it later. And they're like, no, no, tell me. Like, you, you want them to be like, no, tell me, tell me more. And then um, then I'll be like, oh, well, you know, we can send you, I'll send you some more information. Or, you know, I have a webinar. I have a webinar. I'll send you the webinar if you want more info. Um, but making it like, eh, you know, that's cool. Do you want to hear about it or not? And, you know, deep inside, I'm like, yes, they're interested. You know, I'm like so excited. But I'm just like, eh, you know, if you want to hear about it, great. If not, great. So that's really important um, when you're sharing your story. So I would encourage you to share your story um, at least five times a day. If you're pushing for Emerald and you want to be Emerald by September 1st, share your story five times a day. Okay, so like I say, this does not have to be like write it all out, a huge thing on Facebook. You could do that if you want. But it's just like one-liners. One or... Um, it could also be like, um, if you have someone in mind that might be an awesome coach, then I would just write them a message on Facebook like, hey, wh what's going on? How have you been? And then they write back, I'm doing good. What are you up to? What are you up to? Like you just start a conversation and then when the time is right, you bring it up, but you're not like there to lay out your coaching story. Okay, so we'll talk more about that. Um, okay, so write down your coaching story. Start to share it. And now we're gonna keep track of how many times we share it. So I have a lot of uh, you know, people say, oh, I can't get any coaches. Well, first of all, I, I want you to look at your uh, Facebook business, or your Facebook personal page, or your business page. And I want you to see, like, does, if someone went to your page, would they know that you're looking for coaches? Would they know that you are a coach? Would they know what a coach does? Would they know that um, you can, you're can you making money with what you're doing? Um, so I want you to evaluate, like, how are you presenting yourself? 
to others. Because a lot of people probably, I have people come up to me all the time like, oh, I didn't even know you were a coach. I'm like, oh, uh, think like for me, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like all over social media. But I still have people two and a half years later, like, oh my gosh, I didn't know you sold beach body workouts. You know, so you never know, like someone probably won't see your posts all the time. Um, so that's why it's good to share it often and to share like little hints, like I say, little hints, you know, um, like after this team call, you could write a post like, oh my gosh, we had the best team call tonight. It was, I love, you know, working with positive, motivating people that inspire me or something like that. Like I did that last week and I got a huge response. Um, so things like that. So people know like, oh, oh, cool. She gets, he or she gets to work with positive, motivating people. I want to do that. That sounds cool. Um, so making coaching, you know, sound fun, like who wants to join something that sounds like boring and hard and tiring and stressful? Like, no, you know, people want to join something that's fun and awesome and coaching is fun and awesome. So, so once you're, um, you evaluate your, your presence on social media, seeing where you're at, then you've got to keep track of how many conversations or hints that you're giving in the day. So we have the business activity tracker, and there's three things that I want you to keep track of. How many new people you're meeting every day? So it should be two to five. How many um, people you're talking to about your challenges? Two to five. How many people you're talking about coaching? Two to five. So you just check off that list every day. And then um, also in this video, I'll share with Brigitte Linford talks about uh, horses. They have their blinders on and they're laser focused. And so when you are at your, your, it's your business time, you're like, okay, I have one hour to do my business. So you're not going to scroll through the news feed. You're not going to answer all the, I am the worst. Like I have to really try to stay focused. Like if there's a pop-up message, do not answer it. If there's a notification, do not go to it. You're laser focused. I am going to do these three things. I'm going to meet th two to five new people a day. I'm going to invite people to my challenge. I'm going to invite people to be a coach or I'm going to give a hint about a coach. So I'm going to do that. Once that is checked off, then I'm going to move in to go into my challenge groups and helping my coaches. But before that, I'm going to be laser, laser focused. Um, okay. Um, so keep track every day. And then, um, let's see, what else? We want to... Um, Personal development is so, so crucial. And I know you guys hear this all the time, but if you're only, if you're doing 10 minutes a day, up it to 30 minutes a day. Okay, I listen to, I don't even know how much personal development I listen to a day, but like in your car, when you're cleaning your house, um, it does, you don't have to sit there and read a book or listen, um, but do it when you're moving around or you're doing other things. Um, whenever I talk to coaches and they're like, oh, I'm so burnt out, I'm so discouraged, you know, something like that, then I say, how are you doing on your personal development? They're like, ah, I don't have time. Ooh, make sure you get that personal development. Okay, I just want, I want to hear, I want some more interaction here. On the chat, let's see who, okay, let, let, we won't go today. This week, who did some sort of personal development? Just say yes in the comments. Let's hear it. Awesome, awesome. We have some Julia and Brian and Danielle. Awesome, Cindy, Angie, great. Okay, awesome, Vonda. Okay, great, awesome, great, perfect. So you guys on this call are leaders because you are doing your personal development and your teams are gonna be rocking it, so that's awesome. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, like what, and your personal development needs to be catered towards you. So whatever makes you feel positive and excited and happy, that's what you want to, to focus on. Okay, so um, the next thing we want to do is um, I need to talk to Jonathan about this, but on, in our team, um, so we're going to have a contest to see who can get to, to, sorry, to Emerald by September 1st, because we're working towards our September 1st goal of getting to Emerald. Um, so if you're already an Emerald coach, your goal is gonna be helping your coaches become Emerald, okay? Um, and if you help a coach, then you could be entered in. I'm gonna do a drawing for a $50 Team Beachbody gift card to everyone who gets to Emerald 
or who helps a coach get to Emerald. So that's how you get a ticket. And like I say, I'll talk to Jonathan. Maybe he can do something like that on your team too. Um, so we're going to do that from now until September 1st. Because kicking it off September 1st, we're going to do the Diamond Dash. And I'm going to go into that in one second. I know we're running short on time. Um, but for, so from now until then, this is the action plan. Okay, so I want you to write a list of 30 contacts. 30 people that you think would be awesome on your team. And you're not going to go out there and send them a business presentation and overload them. And we're going to do a little role play after this. Um, but you're just going to do hints. So, like, if there's someone, I'm like, oh, man, this person would be an awesome coach. I would just send them maybe a Facebook message like, hey, how's it going? I haven't talked to you for years. What have you been up to? So I'm just going to send them a message. Just how are you doing? Okay? You're going to be calm and casual about this. We're not going to be, like, too pushy. Okay? Because um, we're just looking for people who might be interested. Okay? And then the, when the conversation may come up, you know, about what you do, um, then I would just say, hey, we have this webinar, and Jonathan, your team is welcome if you want. We're doing a webinar next Wednesday, um, August 20th at um, 6, uh, 6 uh, p.m. Pacific time, so 9 p.m. Eastern time. So I'll give you guys the details. But we're going to do a webinar about coaching. And I'm working on um, the details. We're going to have some guests, but I may even get Bob Lucido on, which would be awesome. Um, we just made the Millionaire's Club with Beachbody. Um, but so from now until then, your job is to do little hints, maybe send a little video about what coaching is about. But your job is just to do little hints. Um, about coaching that will eventually lead into an invitation to this webinar that we're doing next Wednesday. Okay, and so in our team group, what we're going to do is every day I'm going to do a post and I want in the comments just to write, you know, your best uh, contact that you had that day. So what you said and how it went and what kind of hint, you know, it doesn't even have, even if you didn't get to the coaching part, but you just said, hi, how's it going? Okay, so that's what we're going to do in our, in our group um, to get to Emerald. Okay, so now I want to hear in the comments, I want to hear in the chat box, um, if you are going to either get to Emerald or help someone get to Emerald from now until September 1st. Let's hear it in the chat. Let's hear who's going to do that. Awesome. Cindy, Badger, Vonda, awesome. Danielle, Brian, Angie, Harm, awesome. Julia, great, great. So we have some awesome leaders, um, Sharon, sweet, that are going to help, either help someone get to Emerald or are going to get to Emerald. So that's awesome. Okay, so now we're going to go into the Diamond Dash, and I'm so excited about this. Okay, so we've only done the Diamond Dash one time before. Um, we did it a little differently. This time I'm even more excited because it's going to be even more awesome. And I know you probably don't think it could have been even better, but it is going to be better. Okay, so it starts on September 1st, and this is for all coaches who are emerald or above. And so you want to make sure you are emerald or above to join. Okay, so there is a $25 fee to join. So if you're getting to Success Club this month, you can use part of your commissions for the $25 fee. And we're putting that $25 into a cash prize. And I'm going to be contributing extra for the cash prize. I'm going to talk to some of these other leaders that we're having on this Diamond Dash to contribute a little bit of extra. But if you get to Diamond, or if you add six coaches on your team, oh, you have to add six coaches. That's how we made it fair. Because if you have six coaches and you add two, it's not fair. Anyway, so you have to add six coaches in two months. That's three coaches per month to your team. Okay, and if you get if you add six coaches to your team and get to diamond after the two months, then you get part of the cash prize. So I joined up, let me tell you with a couple of these coaches that I joined up with. Um, so I have and these are all star diamond coaches. Um, so I already told you Jonathan, who's here already on this call. Let's see if I can get the list. 
Okay, so Candace Talbot, um, and most of these people are pushing towards elite. So we have Candace Talbot, um, Jonathan Lee, um, Nikki Fiosa, um, Bob Lucido, um, me, Renee Teller, and um, Don Murphy so far. Uh, we're working on a few other ones, but that's a pretty awesome list, if I say so myself. Um, so every week, you're going to hear from one of these leaders. We're going to do um, special trainings, um, and we're going, yeah, it's just going to be awesome. So we're going to do a webinar every week um, with these leaders, and every week we're going to give away um, a wear and share. So like a jacket or a t-shirt or something, beach body. Um, we're going to give it away to the person who adds the most coaches to their team. And we don't want you just to be, you know, signing up coaches here and there. Like, I mean, we want you to find good people, obviously, um, to build a strong, solid team. But we're going to be giving away these prizes every week. And, um, and then also, it's going to be a go for no diamond dash. So we're going to open up a large group. Our goal is to get at least 100 Emerald coaches into this group. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm working on, getting 100 Emerald coaches into this group. We're going to have a big Facebook group with all of the, with everyone, and then we're going to have small Facebook groups, accountability groups with the leaders. So you and your current diamond will be in the smaller accountability groups, and um, in the large group, we're going to write our biggest failures, okay? I know this sounds kind of funny, but... We want to hear what your responses are getting, you are getting. Because um, another thing we want to do is we want to evaluate your messages. So if you get no, like if someone says no to you, we want to know what you said so that we can help you to know how to say it differently. <clears throat> Excuse me. The key to, um, to getting to yes is, I mean, first you're going to get a lot of no's. I get no's all the time still but is the way you present yourself and the way that you're talking to people. So we're going to help you with that. That's going to be our big focus. Um, okay, I know I'm like way over time now. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go over. Um, now I'm just going to open it up to questions. Um, if you guys have a question, go ahead and um, post it in the chat box. And I can unmute your, well, let's just post it in the chat box. We have a lot of people here tonight, so. Um, okay, great. So, Vonda, okay, great. Um, let me unmute your line. Okay, great. Are you there, Vonda? Um, hi, yeah, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you, thanks. Okay, I have a couple of questions and they're maybe more tactical about um, the coach placement. So I have my husband on my um, right leg and then I have another coach on my left leg and I'm kind of trying to figure out how to do the placement now um, because uh, as I sign these coaches up, I want to make sure that I place them correctly. Mm -hmm. um, what is the smartest thing to do? Like, should I just... Um, and, and then I have all these other coaches that have been placed underneath me, and do they matter? That's one thing I'm kind of so confused about. I don't know how this works. Um, sure. Should I? Okay. Sure, yeah. So that's a great question. So your husband is placed on your right side, which is your weak side. And so the next coaches that you add to your team, I would place under your husband on your right side. Because the coaches on your left side, on your strong side, do matter a lot. And they're going to help with your team bonuses. But you need more coaches on your right side to start getting those team bonuses because you don't have enough coaches on your right side right now. And so I would add the next, um, like, two or three coaches on your right side. Okay. And then, so then, um, or should I put the first one underneath the one that I have in case um, she – drops out so I don't lose my emerald status would that be some wise thing to do yes that that is wise yeah so I would evaluate how serious your new coach is if she's not um you know she's kind of not sure if she's going to do it I would definitely add another coach on your left to make that emerald solid and then I would move to your right okay and so then you basically tell people you, you send them the link to your husband's side to sign up. So they are technically signing up under him, right? No, no, they're signing up under you, but the, the line has to go is straight. 
Lina Street. And so even if they sign up from your account, they will go under your husband. Like, okay. so it will say PS above okay. the code. Okay. If it says PS, that means personally sponsored. And then, um, but it will go directly under your husband. So, yeah. Okay. And then the goal would be basically to make him and the other coach Emerald so that I can be diamond eventually. Yes. But I would work on getting your coat, like getting um, the other six coaches first under okay. you before you make your husband Emerald. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Sure. No problem. Okay, we had a question from Badger, so let me unmute your line. See if I can find it. Okay, um, if you're there, um, Badger, could you unmute your line, please? Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Thanks. Sorry, it's Carrie. I don't oh. know why the computer just made it Badger. Oh, that's okay. Um, so I have someone who's very, I mean, she's like way committed. She wants to be a coach. She's already come out and told me she wants to do it. She's doing the five day email series, but she just moved and she's adopting a baby in a couple of weeks. And so she's really busy and I want to commit her and get her signed up before September 1st. But I'm just wondering the best way to like get it done. Sure. That, well, that's a great question. So if someone's, you know, interested, but they're kind of busy, I love, um, like today, I did. I sent a message to several people who are interested, and I said, you know, hey, my new coach mentorship starts on September or on August 25th, and I'm just uh, finalizing um, who's going to be in that group. So I just wanted to see if you're ready that you could join my mentorship on August 25th and join as a coach. So have something to invite them to with a date. And then they can be like, oh, yeah, I want to get in. Because I, I do my mentorship every 30 days. And so, you know, if someone doesn't get in at that time, I'll say, okay, well, you'll be on the waiting list and you can join my next one. So, but I would, I would just tell her you have a mentorship coming up on a certain date and then she can join. So. All right, thank you. Sure, yeah, no problem. Great. Okay, um, Julia had a question. Great. Do you want to unmute your line? Okay, there you go. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, thanks. Okay, good. Um, when you talked about when you get um, a success club lead and then they, or someone that does a um, challenge pack and you don't get the commission right away, but if you get success club, you do get the commission? I didn't understand I don't understand that part. Sure. Yeah, that's a good question. Okay, so there's two ways you can get leads. If you are an Emerald, if you are an Emerald coach, you get free customers. And so those are just automatically customers that you'll see in your back office, um, but you won't see their commission on the first purchase. You'll just you'll just see them as a as a new customer. And so, but if they purchase again, then you get the commission. For it um, and so basically it's your job to reach out to them get to know them and and sometimes you can't get a hold of them and then you still might see commissions from them you know so that's pretty cool um, but as a, from a success club person like if you hit success club let's say you hit it in July and then um, in August you would get free customers and their commission we're hitting success club so Ooh. so you get like um, you get a Shakeology or a challenge pack or an ultimate reset um, the customer and the commission so I usually earn between 30 and 60 dollars a month with those success club leads like in January was my best month and I hit it in December and got like 120 dollars free in January um, Wow. So yeah, so it's awesome. So make sure to get it in December. <laughs> so, yeah, that's awesome. Um, so so does that make sense? So there's two ways. If you're an Emerald, you get them, and then if you're if you have Success Club and you're an Emerald, you get them. Does that make sense? It's kind of confusing. Yeah. So if they order, let's say um, your customer orders Shakeology, so uh -huh. they you don't get the commission the first time, but you will get it the second time they order it. Um, if that's a free customer. If that's like okay. just a free customer, okay. 
then you wouldn't. You would get it on their next purchase. Okay. Um, but if it's a success club lead, you get it on the first purchase. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Let's see. We have a couple of questions in here. Is there a way to see a breakdown of your commission so you know how much came from commission or team bonus? Yes. That's a great question from Cindy. Um, okay. And I'll get to Danielle's question. Okay. So if you go to coach, coach online office, um, my business, and then my commissions, then you can see this. I do this every week. You click on how much commission you got and then that's linkable link and you click on that and it opens it up and breaks it down. So it will say commission, team bonus, mat like when you're a diamond you get a matching bonus from your leaders. Um, if you sell a challenge pack you get a fast start bonus. If you sell, this is cool, I didn't know this until it happened, but if you sign up five coaches in five weeks with a challenge pack you get a hundred dollar bonus. Um, and then there's start and bonuses, but so yeah, so go to commissions um, and then click on that link and it opens it up and breaks it down. So sure, no problem. Okay, and Danielle had a question, it was a really good question about, um, she said, I thought your right leg was the strongest. Okay, so this, it depends on your business. So what I just told to Vonda, what I just said, um, it's not the same with everyone. Like my strongest is my left and my weakest is my right. But on my husband's, his strongest is his right and his weakest is his left. So it doesn't, it doesn't, I can't, I can't tell you it's going to be right or left unless I look at your business. The way you can look, the way you can know if it's right or left is look at your downline. So go to my business, my downline and look and see how many coaches you have on each side. Okay, so if you have... Okay, thank you. Oh, sure, no problem. Yeah, so um, the other thing you can go... Um, this, this is helpful, too. If you go to um, Coach and then Previous Office View, and then you go to Commissions, and then Carryover Volume, then you can see, this is cool, because um, if, if you're building your business, okay, this doesn't matter if you're starting out, but if you're building your business for income instead of rank, that's what I'm doing. Like, I'm not super high rank, but my income is higher than some people at my rank. Um, so if you're building for income, you want to look and see whichever leg is weakest. Whatever leg is weakest, you want to put more coaches there or build that side so that your income is the highest. If you have, uh, like, if you have one side that has, like, you know, I, I saw one person, she had 45,000 carryover volume points once. Um, and you keep, you keep all that volume if you keep your emerald rank. If you lose it, you, lo you lose it, you start over. Um, so make sure if you're an emerald to check your carryover volume. So let's say it again, it's, um, coach, coach previous office view, and then commissions, and then carryover volume. And then it will tell you which Thank you, Shannon. Oh, sure. No problem. Glad that was helpful. Okay, awesome. And very. Oh, good. I'm glad. Awesome. Um, well, we have just one um, more question. Time for one more question. Does anyone have any other questions? We're good. Okay. Okay, awesome. So um, I would like to invite you, if you are an Emerald Coach already, and you want to be part of our planning for Diamond Dash, we are having a call right after this for 30 minutes with some of the leaders on our immediate team to go over um, some Diamond Dash details. Um, so if you would like to join, please send me a Facebook message right after this and I'll give you the link to join. We'll probably take like a 10 minute break and then jump on um, this call. Um, so if you want to join, let me know in a message and you can join that. But um, I hope this call was helpful. Thank you for joining us, everyone. If you have any more questions, please let us know. But get excited. Some awesome things are happening. Um, Woohoo! Yes, indeed. <laughs> 
So I'm really excited for our team and for Jonathan. I'm so excited we teamed up together with Jonathan's team. It's been awesome. So have a great night, everyone, and we'll talk to you next week. See ya.